Tyrell Hatton, the Englishman. Yeah, Hatton's an interesting name in this field. Look, we like we have a really weak field just from a, a fantasy perspective. We don't have a lot of top end players uh, to, to target here, but Hatton's made the cut in three straight events. He was T38 at the PGA, T39 at the Heritage. He's gained over two strokes on his approaches in his last two starts. He just really hasn't done that much on the greens. I mean, Hatton can be a bit of a streaky putter. We've seen him go through the ebbs and flows, but you look at the rest of his game, and I mean, it's fine. You know, he's still doing pretty good around the greens, which can sometimes give him problems. So I think you'll probably see a jump from Hatton this week, too. Like, this dude it doesn't seem that far off from his form. I, I think that Hatton is like Dustin and Brooks. He, he wants to get some competitive practice and obviously probably looking at the U.S. Open uh, as a real opportunity for him. And, and this guy has performed well at the U.S. Open in the past, was was uh, was top 10 way back uh, a few years ago at Shinnecock Hills, I believe. So I think it's a good week for Hatton. I, th I think a top 10 is definitely doable. I'm going to put him in for a T9. Again, we have a very weak field. Hatton, one of the only elite players uh, who made the trip here. 